Okay, I am back again. Oh, so many Mastodon videos. This now, what I want to do is look at how I can deal with a mention. A mention is when somebody else toots, posts, and mentions me, the bot, in their message, post. So, and this will come in as a notification event type mention. Before I dealt with, if I look at my code, in the previous video, I dealt with anything that is a follow. So now I want to say else if message data dot type equals uh, a mention. So I want to deal with a mention. So what I'm going to do in this example is if somebody says um, please like or favorite or something like that, I will like or favorite. If someone says please boost or reblog, I will boost slash reblog. So I'm basically going to respond. I'm not going to. I'm not going to toot back, but I'm going to act on the message based on what the content is. So the first thing that I would, I might want to do is I'm, I could use a regular expression. So for example, I could say, um, all right, I can make this regular expression. I can say um, like or favorite or uh, like maybe if somebody uh, uses a heart. I don't know. Is this the regular heart? This is the regular heart, I think. Um, I think. Um, so now I basically want to look. So what is the content? So I need to um, look at, this is the mention. I want to look at the data, data.status.content. Okay, so I need to say um, content equals, equals data.status.content. And I want to say uh, if regular expression test content. So I'm pretty sure this is a function that if I have a regular expression, if the regular expression is matched somewhere within that string content, this will return true. So if that's the case, I want to say um, m.post, m.post, and then what? So I need to go back and look at the API documentation because I want to favorite it. So if I go back here and say, look on favorite, the, the, uh, the path to favorite is statuses, the ID, and favorite. So I need to say um, post to, and so this is what I was doing when I want to post something. I would actually just say statuses, uh, slash, and I want to make this a template literal once again. I need to put the ID in here, favorite, okay? So this is me, if it matches, favorite it, and then I need to get the ID. So the ID is under data status ID. That's perfect, data status ID. And then there are any parameters that I need here, so I can just go straight to um, the callback error uh, data, and I can make a little function here, and I can say, you know, if error, console log, console error, error, else uh, console log uh, favorited. And a pr presumably, this is going to look a lot like this, I would imagine, favorited um, ID. So let me just do data.id. I'm, I'm guessing, so just to like have a little more information in here, favorited um, uh, and, uh, data dot, and by the way, this is message, message dot data, message dot data, um, and this is favorited data dot ID. Okay, so let's see here. What's, go, what's wrong? Something is terribly wrong. I have, I'm out of whack in terms of my brackets and things. So, oh, this also needs a end tick. There we go, and now a semicolon. Okay, so apologies that this is hard to see here. Let me see if I can, let me move this over, give myself a little bit more space so we can look at this code. Ah! Hi. Okay, ah! Let me just make the font a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so what we're looking at here is, if, if it's a follow, we're just going to say thanks for the follow. If it's a mention, we're going to see did the mention use the word like, favorite, or heart. If it did, favorite it, and then give me some information about whether it worked or not. So probably I also should do something like say console.log 
um, <clears throat> just in case the, just so I can see what the, the message has, I'm going to say console.log a mention uh, ID uh, and then add content. Okay, we are going to run this. Whew. Okay, what did I lose? Something weird happened here. Uh, I also need this. Oh. oh boy. Template literal, come back. Oh, I tried to reformat all this stuff. Oh, so sad. Hold on. We're going to get this back. There we go. Okay, we're good again. <laughs> there we go. Here's our code. We got it. If you mention me, check to see if you said like, favorite, or heart. And if so, I am going to favorite it. All right. Here we go. Let's run this bot. See if we have any errors. Okay, it's starting. All right. Better start mentioning me. <laughs> Try mentioning me with, uh, with a heart with a like, with saying favorite, or not. I will just wait. Whoa, what's going on? This isn't right. Ah, something bad is happening. So, okay, my console logging is crazy. Oh, what happened here? Did I put a breakpoint in by accident? I did not mean to do that. Okay, so by the way, uh, weird awkward edit point because it didn't work. <laughs> Some weird stuff happened, but I am now discovered through the thankful, helpful people in the chat that I have a few errors here. So number one is let's go back to the API for a second, and we can see here that I didn't pay close attention. It's actually spelled with a U here, ID favorite. So this seems kind of important that I spell it correctly. So let me fix that here. Oh, but that's not actually the important place. The important place is here. Um, and then a couple other things. I want to uh, use a flag for I for, um, for a case insensitivity. In other words, you can, and also the U should be optional here. That doesn't really matter. So U is optional. So you can say like, favorite. I don't, still not sure if this is the right kind of heart that normally, but now this should fix that, that I should now actually be favoriting things. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to run this bot again, and I'm going to wait. Okay, I'm back. A lot of people mentioned me. Let's go take a look at the actual timeline. Um, we, and we can see that it is favoriting, and we are getting an ID out. Um, you can see that this ID is different than this ID, and some people are asking me about that. I will, I will, let me mention that in the chat in a second, um, in a second, but let me go here. So. Uh, you're my favorite. Hmm, how come it didn't? Ah, there we go. I just had to refresh. So we can see this got favorited because it has favorite in it. This got favorited because it has a heart. Uh, this got favorited because it has the word like. I'm looking for one that doesn't have. Ooh, I don't, this must have been from a while ago when it wasn't working. But we can see here now. Um, please like. Please clap. So please. Uh, mention me without using like, favorite, or heart to make sure that also works. Okay, I'm back. And we can see here that Kay Weekman um, wrote coding bo train bot choo choo. And if, if I refresh this page, it was not favorited. So it is working only now. It should be only if, uh, and if I go back to the code, only if this regular expression matches will I favorite. All right. And by the way, we could really quickly now just also like, uh, there's probably a nicer way to do this, but I'm just going to really quickly like copy paste this whole thing. And I'm going to say uh, boost or reblog or, um, or retweet even, or um, let's get another emoji in here. Control option. Uh, let's say if, if you use a, a train emoji. Um, or if you use the train emoji, then we will uh, reblog. So now, if I, if I quickly run this again, I'll make this regex2. Um, if regex2, and I don't need to, um, I don't need to get the content or the ID anymore, um, and I don't need this again. Um, so now this is just, and I, I probably it probably makes sense for me to actually. Put this up. Actually, you know, they could both happen. So here now, I this will boost anyone that says boost, reblog, retweet, or 
the train. And, and Miller mentioning this is a mistake here. So this data.id, this is actually, um, this is the ID of the, the actual favorited action, which everything, every action has an ID. So if I, if somebody messages, that mention has an ID, which I captured up here. So, but this is the ID of the actual act of favoriting it. So I don't know, debugging wise, I don't know what's more important to display. I could display both of them. Um, but you'll see those are two different things. And this should say reblogged, and this should say favorited. So let's now uh, do this, and here we go. Everybody, you can now ask to be favorited or reblogged. All right, a lot of mentions came in. You can see some things are being favorited and reblogged. Some things are just being reblogged. Let's go take a look at the timeline. And uh, let's look at this. Uh, did you know, hmm, hmm, I don't, oh yeah. I love trains, this got boosted. Uh, coding train bot, that got boosted. Uh, and this one, reblog this, I want the followers like it too. And we got both a reblog and a like. Hooray! Okay, so this works. We now have a bot that um, uh, that both that just checks for follows, mentions, and um, follows and mentions. If somebody follows, it uh, toots back, welcome aboard to that account. And if somebody uh, mentions and uses any of these keywords, it either favorites or reblogs. So the thing that I didn't do, which I sh which I should add to this, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> I don't know if it really makes sense to just keep doing more videos about this, but I'll do another video where I'll add this, but you might want to try this as an exercise. What, how, what about actually replying? What about posting an actual reply back to the person? So if the person asks, what is the meaning of life? Then uh, the bot replies with a random number or something like that. Okay, so give that a try. I'll, I'll add that, but I'll do that in the next video. Okay, goodbye.